Redmi 6, a replacement for my GF's Redmi 3S. Let's see what we get in the box. I got the box with Redmi 6 opened with a sharp tool. This is what we are getting inside. At the very top our Redmi 6 with a sticker on the screen informing us about the mobile's cameras, CPU and display specs. Safety warnings and the rest of the set includes 2 amp charger and a regular micro USB cable for charging and transferring data to your PC. Parts of the set seem to be made from good quality materials and there is nothing to complain about at this stage. There is a small pin for opening the SIM card socket uh, hmm, and that I lost immediately after unboxing the device. To open the SIM and micro SD card slot I needed to make such a pin on my own. I decided to use one of my keyrings and pliers to get the desired shape. It was not easy. A couple of adjustments here and there and as you can see in this video it works quite well. Just mind your fingers. So it is time we had a look at the device. Redmi 6 seems to be a decent device. It feels a bit different than the Redmi 3S as the back of the mobile is made out of plastic, not metal as in the Redmi 3S. A very handy fingerprint reader in the back, volume control and power buttons on the right side of the mobile, I would strongly suggest that a brighter screen would not do any harm, but we have to remember that this is a budget mobile, not a top class. So the resolution of the screen is not a surprise as well, you'll be able to watch YouTube videos only in 720. In the back of the device you will find two cameras, one 12 megapixel camera and the other one is 5 megapixel and 5 megapixel camera in the front of the device. The main camera of the mobile has manual settings but only in camera mode. Mode. They are not available in video mode. All manufacturers, in my less than humble opinion, should go with giving all of the manual settings for all the cameras to the users. But there is a big but about the camera in Redmi 6. Well, it is not spectacular, so even manual mode will not make it right. You will get decent photos and videos in good light, but they are only good, not great. Redmi 6 has a different sensor than Redmi 3S, so I thought that this sensor is going Going to be better. Let's have a look at the videos and photos taken by the cameras in Redmi 3S and Redmi 6 so you'll be able to see the difference. Please remember that the price of the device is really good so I must not complain too much about the camera quality. Now you're, now you're watching a video shot with Redmi 3S. This video is taken with Redmi 6. Cut! Okay, so my less than humble opinion is as follows. It seems that Redmi 3S has a camera that takes nicer videos for sure. The problem is that there is no fully manual video mode that would resolve this competition easily. But look at the footage from the Redmi 3S. Black is black and just have a look at the corner of my desk. This is Redmi 3S and this is Redmi 3. Hello? The other thing is that I thought that the mobile gives full control over two of the main cameras, but it does not. What happens is when you want to take a portrait, second camera allows to merge two photos taken in the same time to blur the background so only face is sharp in the picture. I hoped that I would simply get a standard camera and wide angle camera, but no, you have control of only one of them. Just have a look here, when I try to take a portrait of my beaver, when I cover one of the cameras, covered lens is detected and background blur is not available anymore. Front camera does offer portrait mode without a second camera for blurring the background, so I simply do not understand why did they use two of them in the back. Probably just to show off, nothing more. Basically, I am not satisfied with the camera, but then I have to highlight that this is a budget phone and it is not bad for the price, even though I simply expected more. Front camera is usable in good light, but again I expected more. I want producers to install the same camera in the front and in the back of the device. Redmi 6 has smaller battery than Redmi 3S, it is just 3000 mAh and it does require charging quite often, but with reasonable use it should last a day. Redmi 6 offers 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage or 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage in the top version. Storage can be extended by 256GB by inserting micro SD card inside. Redmi 6 offers better microphone than Redmi 3S. You can clearly hear that here. Now you're, now you're watching a video shot with Redmi 3S. Cut. 
This video is taken with Redmi 6. Cut! Redmi 6 does not offer fast charge and it is a problem in a mobile that requires charging quite often. But again, they wanted to make the device as cheap as possible. Migration software provided by Xiaomi Mi Move does the job pretty well and in 8 minutes I managed to transfer all applications and files from my GF's Redmi 3S. Everything seems to be fully operational and I found no problems here. It's time to sum it up. Mobile as such is quite good and handy as the size is reasonable. As you may know, some people like myself and my GF need handy mobile phones that fit into a pocket without any problems. You will be able to browse the internet and use most of the apps available on the market. The device is useful for gaming as well, but most flamboyant games will be simply too challenging for the CPU and RAM. I am unhappy with the camera performance, they could have got a better camera sensor. They could have got a better soft that allows more manual settings, especially for the videos and fully manual white balance. My GF will have to stick to it for next couple of years, but for my mom I got Honor 9 Lite. This video is shot with Honor 9 Lite using manual settings, so you can set white balance and um, uh, exposure compensation you have and that's it. As it seems to be a better option and better price tag for sure. A review of uh, Honor 9 Lite will be available soon. As usually at the very end, don't forget about watching some other of my videos. One here, one here and one here. And do not forget about subscribing by clicking my face somewhere here to make Mr. Beaver happy. Bye bye!